<laughs> Look at all of this old modium. Hello everyone. Welcome back to All the Mods 8. In the last episode, we went through and got all of this all the modium built up using some mechanism and bits and pieces. And someone said that uh, I could dump this. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Look at that. You click on this idle one here and I can dump all of the hydrogen. So thank you very much for that information. That's good to know. There's lots about mechanism that is obviously still to be learnt, but uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun fiddling around with it. And we can learn some things like the gas upgrades for getting more efficiency. But that is not what this episode's about. Don't you reckon it's about time we upgraded our gear? <laughs> so in this episode, we're going to get ourselves all the modium gear, but I think we're also going to get into crushing up some different bits and pieces to make ourselves uh, some extra special gear with the apotheosis extras on there. So um, let's just grab ourselves a few pieces. Yeah, nine blocks should do for now. And let's head on out. So the goal is... To go through all of this sort of stuff, if it has anything that is a good enchantment like these things, I'll probably uh, take those off nice and quickly. And then we will break them down using some different methods and combine them with a few of these things to make ourselves ridiculously powerful. And the beauty of all the modium is, as far as I'm aware, it's indestructible. So we don't need to put unbreaking or mending or anything on there because it just it can't break. That means I don't have to worry about uh, stuff like this. I can just put efficiency on it, and silk touch, and go to town. So first things first, we can upgrade our existing gear. And I'm wondering whether it's worth it because this one's pretty good. This one has physical damage reduced. Durability damage doesn't really matter. But the 15 armor, the luck, the health, is it worth it? Nah, I think we're going to start from scratch. Now, something that uh, I've had for a long while is actually uh, this stuff here, which is <laughs> has been making me look a very specific kind of way the whole time. And we look weird now. So we're going to keep those just in here. In case I feel like looking like that again, but I think at this stage we're most likely going to be wanting to look like the older modium armor because it's very cool looking. So, um, let's have a bit of a look-see because you can't just uh, craft this stuff by itself, right? Does it need to be put together with a uh, piece of netherite? There's also stuff like this, which is used for making the tools. We're going to make ourselves a sword, a pickaxe, and probably a few other things as well. Mm. But I have some different ideas in regards to all of that. So I guess uh, we're, we're working on some things. First things first, we need ourselves a hammer. And we'll probably just make it out of the iron. And if we do it like this, one, two, it does it one way. And there's another recipe somewhere in here. Ah, needs a three by three. So if we do that, put that there, we can make ourselves a few of these. We're going to put the, all the modium away in there. Okay. And I think that means that we can just do this. <laughs> As you can see there, it says it's indestructible. So we'd never have to worry about that breaking ever again. The next thing that I want to do is go into, actually, let's see if the book shows it. I've got my special book here. If we open this up, is there an apotheosis book? I think there is because uh, we looked at it before, right? Yes, apotheosis. So if we're looking at attributes, no, we want to look at the affix loot and then salvaging. Gem dust. Gem dust is what we want. Specifically, they must be crushed with an anvil in world. Now, we also want a reforging table, which is going to need some gem dust. So what we need to do is get ourselves an anvil. And as you can see, it says it can be enchanted. So if we go up here and click on our enchanting setup here, you can see that it adds obliterating and splitting. Now, 
this one goes up to Unbreaking 8, which I assume means that it's going to uh, last a lot longer. So we might get ourselves 100 levels so that we can break more stuff with this one anvil. But I think, yeah, I've recently grabbed all of that. Okay, slight AFK session with all of this. Oh, we may also need to take off our magnet. There we go. Give me a minute for all of this to turn into some XP. And then we should be able to uh, get to enchanting. I'll probably get myself a handful of extra levels. So I might AFK for just a moment to get that all built up. And then we can see what we can come up with. All right. I just want to get to a satisfying number. And yes, wonderful. And I can turn that volume back up because those guys were loud. So with uh, 220, I don't know why I have an extra one of these. Uh, with 222 levels, we should be able to do a few things. First things first, we will go up here and enchant this anvil. <laughs> now, if we go into our menu here and we go oblit, obliteration, it says that allows anvils to split single enchantments from books when they fall or books they fall upon. And the other one we want is splitting. Splitting allows anvils to split multiple enchantments from the books they fall upon. Nice. So I guess uh, it wasn't necessarily necessary <laughs> to uh, get the dust and stuff, but still, uh, still not a bad idea to do it. So we're going to come down here and I wonder if uh, these are worth breaking. Let's see. For starters, I think what I want to do is do some of these base level ones. You can see by the color of the name that these gray ones are just sort of normal. Nothing too crazy, nothing too over the top as far as uh, what they're capable of. But we do have some really nice ones like this, which fits on anything, adds a level to all enchantments. So super powerful. But if we go, for example, just here, I probably need to turn off my magnet. Thank you. Like this. And then we go. <laughs> yeah. So that's some gem dust. With that gem dust, I should be able to craft up. Hold on. An enchanting table. And then a reforging table. And we're going to chuck that up over here. Yeah. So what this is going to allow us to do is use gem dust on items like this. And I think something else as well, but I'm not exactly sure. We're going to learn that very shortly. Now, the next thing that I want to do is probably use a, uh, a really simple something like this. And do these work that way too? No. So there is something in here salvaging strangely shaped piece of unidentified metal this material is obtained when salvaging, salvaging common items so i guess we need a salvaging table salvaging table one of those one of those and we actually ended up making the perfect amount of dust for both of those things now if i put this down here yeah so there is a chance to get fabric from this and we got two so this is going to destroy all of these items, but it is going to give us some good stuff. So let's uh, let's grab a bunch of this and anything that doesn't have a enchantment on it, I'm just going to instantly do. And this is what I'm after. This mythic rarity material, the God Forged Pearl. Nice, nice. This is so satisfying. This is what I've been waiting for. Okay, now I've got some books in here. I'm just going to strip these off because it's worthwhile saving all of the uh, all of the different enchantments on there. May as well keep them and put them into our library so that if we ever want to add some of these down the line, we have extra versions of them. And I know that I could automate this whole setup here going straight into the library, but for now, doing it manually is fine by me. I actually very much enjoy the manual process of... Uh, a lot of these things. We'll probably grab a few extra books just because I'm going to be going through all of this. And then, uh, yeah, the fun begins. Right. With a bunch of those things 
sorted. I could probably actually put most of them in here, right? I'd say so. Ah, oh, yeah, it uh, changes that amount. So we do that, put those in there, and we've got 57 total. Now, I think it uses a lot more than one to enchant up or make something. So let's go over to our reforging table now with our brand new all the modium pick. And I believe, ah, we need some gem dust. Okay, that's the other thing that we need. Now, I think we should be able to go through, and I'm kind of tempted just so that uh, it feels a little bit more fair. Since we are now going into this new territory of different types of things, I might just uh, turn all of these into dust. Um, so, let's see real quick. I'm not going to look at them because I know that they probably have really good... Uh, Really, really good things on them. I'm just going to destroy them. Don't think about it. Don't think about it, Bobble. Just, uh, just destroy them all. I'm just going to pour them out. And this should get us more than enough dust to work on anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's a decent amount of that. I want to try one out before we get too serious with making the rest. So... We put this in here with some dust. This is where it becomes a bit interesting because we want to search for something that we really like. I don't want the tool breaks five by three, for example, or the five by five. That's a bit much for me. Block drops will teleport to you is nice. This has 140% experience gained, 42% mining speed and 2% reach. But you can see that some of these ones actually have better. Now, I think we can strip that off without breaking it. Let me just check that first, because I want to make sure that I don't accidentally remove something. Reforging is not limited to items that have it. Fixes can be performed with any valid item. Yes. New form requiring gem dust. To reforge your items, simply, simply click the desired choice. Items cannot be reforged multiple times, but you must pick up... No, they can be, but you must pick up and replace the item first. No choice is inherently stronger than others. Reforging table uses your enchantment seed to determine choices. Okay. So, if I do this, for example, that's pretty nice. It does give us teleportation, a bunch of mining speed and whatnot. But, okay, I can just straight away do it again. That one gives us three reach, haste on block break, 180% experience and 43% mining speed. Okay. See, I like that one a lot better. That has three sockets, increases our reach dramatically. We can get extra mining speed and we get a bunch of extra experience. I think I'm going to keep that one for now. Cool. Now we can start working on the rest of the goodies. So, uh, I still have a few of these that I want to uh, put through this business here but they also need to have their enchantments removed. And we're basically ignoring the uh, the uh, lesser versions. I'm just going for the Godforge stuff because it's uh, it's the nicest, obviously. Wonderful. So, we can... Oh, I missed one. Eh, I'm just going to put it in here straight away. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do is pretty much just search up all the modium. We are going to go for things like this. Now, obviously, yes, it looks like you do need the netherite version of each piece to upgrade it. So we're going to make a brand new piece, unenchanted, without any of these uh, apotheosis things on there. And we're going to try and make our own. So for starters, we need diamond gear. I'm going to make the vanilla version. Diamond leggings, chest plate, and a helmet. We're going to grab some netherite. And do I have a, uh, a smithing table? I'm just going to make one. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, okay. Apparently I hadn't made a full set yet, so we got that. Next thing that we can do now is put those away in our refined storage and search up all the modium again. We make one of those. Oh, this is so satisfying. 
I know that uh, for a lot of people, I may have waited a long time to do this, but I feel like it made it all the more sweet to uh, get it to this stage. And now I also want to make myself uh, a sword. Now, I'm not going to make the rest of these just yet, but we will eventually get into that. Another thing that somebody mentioned was maybe I should make myself some apples. It's a full course meal. It gives me 40 saturation and completely fills my hunger. Uh, pretty insane. It might be fun to work with because we can get more down the line. So, uh, hammer again. We'll make a couple of those. I'm going to put the hammer in there so I don't lose it. And we need one of those. Okay, so now we have all of that gear. We should be able to enchant that up as well. Not even enchant at this point. Just uh, put the suffixes on it. So I've got plenty of the Godforge stuff, plenty of dust. Let's see what we get. On hit, we get speed that has attack and fire damage. Life steal deals five damage to nearby enemies. Ooh, 4% for a loot pinata is actually not bad. Bad. And we get knowledge when we hit with it. Has base lifesteal, cold damage, and crit damage. I think that one may actually be the best of the bunch. Now I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to put it back down and just see if there's anything better. Speed. Nine damage to nearby enemies. Now I think I'm going to keep that for now because I like the chance of a loot pinata and the knowledge as well. Um, because... The loot pinata, I believe, will make it so that it drops multiple, sometimes up to 20 times the uh, the main drop. And that can happen when you're fighting anything. So if I was fighting the Wither, for example, I could potentially get a loot pinata and, uh, and get myself, <laughs> yeah, 20 nether stars. So next, fire damage. For these ones, I definitely want stuff that gives me the step height like that. When attacked, gain instant health for 10 seconds and resistance. 6.25 luck. That one's the best. And I think we can add more empty sockets to it later. So I'm going to keep that. This one, I think I want some speed and luck. Instant health 3 when attacked. We might go for this one for now. And if I put that back, is there anything with speed? Max health, luck, instant health. Oh, that one's pretty good. I'm going to grab that instead. I'm not sure what the entity gravity is. But I don't think I want to go too high on that. Now the chest plate should be a fairly simple choice. But uh, do, 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 the three slots, fire damage reduced, knockback resistance and luck and stuff. Sure, we'll go blessed one there. Let's just put it back in and see if there's anything better. Ooh, we could get speed, but without the luck. And that one doesn't give us many sockets. Before we go any further, let's have a quick look in here. Attributes, bosses, no, rogue spawners. Where can I find stuff about sockets? Let's see, affixes, I think that's what we're after. Most common, let's see what it says about sots. Sockets, special type of affix. Gems can convey great bonuses, but can be difficult to find. Can we add more sockets? Superior sigil of socketing. Lodestone, Dragon Breath, I think we can. So, if that's the case, I might put this in and take this one, because this has a bunch of health and the speed that I want, compared to this, which doesn't have any speed, and we can add sockets to it later. Maybe. <laughs> and now for the helmets. Luck, speed, explosive damage reduced, magic damage reduced. I think I want the one with the more luck. I'm going to go with a higher luck level if I can. Yeah. And that gives us 25% speed too. So with that, we have all of these things, not necessarily all with the right amount of sockets, but with a bunch of goodies. We get instant health when attacked and resistance. We get instant health three when attacked. Fire damage taken reduced. More reduced fire damage, more reduced explosive damage. We get resistance, more reduced explosive damage. This will teleport the blocks that we break to us, and we get haste when we do break stuff. And this one has a chance for knowledge pinatas, as well as we get knowledge three, which is great. Let's take off this. Yeah! I think the scarf's gonna have to go, though. Or at least uh, become invisible. Yeah. Look at us! 
Look at us. Ooh, I'm feeling strong. Now, all of this stuff, I believe, is indestructible, but uh, I should test that out. I'm going to go down here and just double check. I should be able to just land like that. I'm going to find myself something to hit me. <laughs> hit me, please. Okay. No, 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 don't hit each other. Oh, you're a, uh, you're a special boy. Actually, want you. <laughs> yeah, I get a forgotten hat. Increases my reach. But it looks like uh, none of this is taking damage, which is nice. <laughs> All right, we're now a pin cushion, but it's time to get enchanting. And it's time to add some goodies. Now, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to use any of these. They are so good, some of them though. I'm going to try and use these ones instead because it's a different way of going about things. So things like adding luck, which would be amazing. Boots would add 65% speed. Oh my. Let's have a proper look at what we actually have now. 30% attack damage total on a helmet. Not bad. This one adds to levels of our uh, enchantments. So to this. The mining speed could be really good. 30% mining speed on that. This one's our fancy one. This one's really good. 40% mining speed. Ooh. Potentially. It's interesting how they've changed this. I actually don't mind it. It's a little different, but still the same sort of idea behind it. Mm, armor toughness, knockback resistance. Anything that adds luck, though, is really nice. For now, we're going to take this one with the mining speed... And what do we do it on? One more look at the book. Wait, I think, is it in here? If we grab this and this, yes. So you can see that adds to our socket there, 40% base mining speed. Do I need that? With efficiency that we have and the base mining speed already on that, I don't think I actually do. I almost made a mistake then. Instead... I'm going to look for things, mining tools, fortune. Some of these won't actually fit on my, uh, on my stuff. So we're looking for ones that work with mining tools. Plus one levels to fortune if we wanted it. Step heights. I think we want to aim for things that are like uh, range or something like that. Experience gain could be nice. The reach distance. There we go. Cool. A little bit of extra reach. So we're going to be searching for bits and pieces to do with that, that uh, make that easier for us. So I might spend a little bit of time going back and forth, seeing what I can add onto these, and then we'll get to enchanting. So after a little bit of time, I've managed to add some extra sockets to every single one using these sigils of socketing. And to make the superior to go beyond, I think that allows you to add a fourth you actually need a very specific enchantment set up with the right amount of quanta, a range between these two of arcana, and at least that much. So we would have to specifically set ourselves up for making those. But now they all have three. I couldn't resist using a couple of the, uh, the old ones from in here on my sword to add some armor piercing and attack range. But I also added one with attack damage. I added some physical damage reduction, some extra health, and some luck on my chest plate. I added 65% total speed on my boots. And that's about all I've done. Ah, a little bit of reach on my pickaxe as well. Because I have these ones here. So these ones have the extra protection, and I think I want to add that to every single one of my old modium armors. But that would mean that we, uh, we need to enchant them with protection. Here a phantom somewhere. So now it's probably time to jump in here <laughs> and uh, get ourselves some stuff. So let's see what we get. I'm looking for ones that have the main protection enchantment. Now we can obviously enchant these ourselves and add all sorts of stuff to it. That one has really nice mana regen stuff. Protection 7. Okay, mana boost 6, mana regen 6, soulbound, rebound. I'm going to take that one for now. Respiration 7, blast, affinity, respiration 6, insight, mana boost, air affinity, aqua affinity, blast protection. Might wait to re-roll that. What about this? Fortune. 
Silk Touch, Boon of the Earth, not quite what I want. We definitely want to see if we can get a really nice sharpness on this too. All right, back to the start. Feather Falling 10, Projectile Protection 10. I'm just going to take that for the level itself and actually strip those off because those are high level. I don't want the projectile protection, but everything else was pretty nice. The Feather Falling especially. I wonder if with Feather Falling 10, we could survive from any height and not have to have in our boot slots, the bunny hoppers. Maybe we'd be able to grab something different for that, which would be cool. Feather Falling 10 again, and Projectile Protection 10 again, as well as a bunch of other stuff. I'm just gonna take these for the, uh, for, <laughs> for the enchantments themselves. The leech would be nice on that, but it's not quite what I want. All of these projectile protections are not quite what I'm after. I want main protection, just normal stuff. Now, let's see what our actual protection level is that we have. We can go up to a maximum of seven right now. So not too bad if we wanted to add seven to all of them, but we'd need to run a few more of these and, uh, and actually get ourselves a built up supply inside the library itself. Uh, chest plate, that one's not bad. Now it doesn't have the sharpness on it, but it has looting six, vorpal six, frost aspect for capturing six, raider's bane and sweeping edge six. There's other things that I need to check too. Like what's our sharpness level? We can go up to six with that. So not too shabby. Efficiency eight, silk touch, teleportation. I might have some grinding to do here folks. Protection seven, okay. Air affinity, aqua affinity, insight six and mana boost six. I think that one's a winner because on top of that, we can add ourselves mana regen. Let's look for that up to level seven. This has mana boost six, so we can add Mana boost six, mana regen seven. We want respiration on this up to level seven. What else? It already has, no, we can add soul bound to that. That's nice. We don't need unbreaking and we don't need unusing. Increases the maximum health of the wearer. Let's add that and see if it works on helmets as well. And yeah, I've got the air affinity and aqua affinity. In fact, we can probably add some magic protection too. <laughs> Chance to absorb beneficial effects. Why not? Let's see if we can add the uh, siphoning from that. Cool. That's a heck of a book. If I go co to combine that, how much is it going to cost? 30. So not everything gets put over onto it. What do we lose? The magic protection because we already have protection. Vitality doesn't get added. Magic Siphon doesn't get added. So it's probably not worth it to waste all of those. So instead, we'll just go for the uh, the basic level of stuff. I don't think I really wanted protection. That's okay. It does make it to protection eight. Okay, so air affinity, aqua affinity, respiration, mana boost, everything. That is a damn nice helmet. And then if we go down here, I feel so slow without the armor on. And we chuck that in here. I should now, no, it doesn't add chest plates and, ah, only works on chest plates being, uh, chest plates or leggings, I should say. Interesting. Good to know. That, though, is a really nice helmet. That helmet just in itself gives us protection eight, mana boost seven, aqua affinity, insight four, no, insight six. Air Affinity, Mana Regen 7, and Respiration 7. That's a lot. As well as adding Resistance, Reduced Explosive Damage, Armor, Luck, Speed, Health. <laughs> it's incredible. So, once again, I think I'm going to go through the grind, uh, see what I can do with all of this stuff. Enchanting away, trying to see what I can get, but I've actually used up a lot of my levels. So we're going to have to... AFK for some more levels again, get myself what I can, and eventually, well, maybe not this episode, but eventually we're going to have a ridiculously good set of armor. The sockets may take some time to get some really nice ones set up, but I can absolutely wear this stuff. So, a little bit more time, 
a few more levels. And then we're going to be completely kitted out to take on damn near any challenge that this pack can throw at us. Especially some stuff in the other. And wardens. And things. And stuff. <laughs> I'll see you in a sec. And a little bit of work by adding... What do we need? Mana boost? Mana regen 6 to increase that up. All right. So we need a mana regen 6 if I can make it. I can. And then a mana boost 7. What else can we add to this? We have reach 7. Can I extend that to a reach 8? I can. Rebounding. What does that do? Melee attacks may find themselves much further away. Oh, interesting. I'm not going to increase that one. I think we'll leave it there. Vitality. I can increase that to level 8. I then need to put level 7 on there because it'll increase it to level 8. Anyway, what else have we got? Berserker's Fury. Become enraged when taking damage. Does that mean that I get more damage output? Cool. And what else? Mm, I think that should be good. Do I have enough protection to take me up to the next level? No, I can't make a book big enough. So, if I combine that... 66 levels worth... We now have Protection 8, all of the Mana Boost, Respiration 7, Air Affinity, Aqua Affinity, and the Insight. And Insight, I believe, gives us more experience. With the chest plate, we have Berserker's Fury, which I believe will give me more damage when I'm taking damage. The Mana Stuff, Protection Stuff, Soulbound, Vitality, Reach, Mana Boost. So our Reach should be... Yeah, I can reach that from over here. <laughs> wow. We have rebounding again on this, mana boost, protection, soul bound, all of that stuff. We'll probably go and look for a soul speed or whatever it's called, sneaky, sneaky, the one that we can add to that. And then on here, we have depth strider seven, uh, protection seven, feather falling 10, stable footing, the mana stuff and spectral bite. And the spectral bite uh, will hopefully allow us to uh, bite some people. But I want to test one thing. I want to take off the bunny hoppers and I want to see from about Y level 300 if we survive. <laughs> oh God. We've got enough health that we probably will. Okay. That might be from the fact that we're wearing all the Modian boots or the feather falling combined. Either way, we don't need the bunny slippers anymore. They did give me some extra jump height. So it may be worth it for that. Look how fast we are. <laughs> oh, yes. We have this sword, which has uh, Skulk Smite, Severing. We need to add some stuff to that. I forgot about this one. Okay. And this here, we should be able to add Efficiency uh, 9 to it and get that all the way up to Efficiency 10. So, a couple more things. Let's uh, see... We need a little bit more of the levels. But once we have that, we're going to be pretty much kitted out. I am just going to put these back on for the jump height for now. Da -da -da. <laughs> so, after much trying, especially using these tomes of weaponry, I really cannot get myself sharpness. Sharpness just does not seem to want to roll no matter what I do on all of this stuff. So I've decided that instead, the best idea is for me to get what I already have, which is a sharpness six and turn it into a sharpness seven. That way I should be able to put that in there. And if we go down to the sharpness down here, I can now go up to sharpness seven. Now, if I can get enough, wait, I didn't want the shield bash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And with those two together, I can go sharpness eight. Yeah. I'll keep trying, but for a little bit of uh, insight, I was at level 320 when I started this, and I've had to mine some lapis to get more. This is the last lapis I have left. So all of this sort of stuff, yeah, it's not quite cutting it. I've gone through and enchanted so many things. So if we go back to sharpness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's about the maximum we can do right now, which is fine. Sharpness 8 should be more than enough. I'm just going to test a couple more things, see whether any of them pop up with sharpness. 
but it just seems ridiculously rare for some reason. But that's fine, because what we are going to do is we are going to make purely a book for what I want. Um, backstabbing, I don't know whether that works with swords, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to add capturing seven, which gives a chance to get the mob eggs. I don't think I want to set them on fire, so I'm not going to add fire aspect. Slows and weakens the target. We're going to add frost aspect if it'll let us, and frostbite 13. As you can see by the amount of stuff that I have in there, points stored, I've got that a few times. So a high chance to freeze targets. We may as well add some knockback. We're going to add leech 8 so that we uh, restore health when we kill mobs and probably life stealing too if it'll let us. I'm just going to add basically everything and whatever sticks will uh, will stay. We're going to add looting seven. Uh, we'll may as well add magic siphon, see if that works on swords. <laughs> this mystical enlightenment apparently drops cognizant dust from killing uh, the dragon or withers. So we'll add that in case we want some of that dust for something. Chance to apply bad effects. Eh, we'll see whether that works too. I'm just going to make the ultimate book and see what happens. Severing, which significantly increases the chance of reliquary drops. May as well. Sharpness, we can go up to sharpness 8 now. What else? Sweeping edge 8. Why not? I don't really care about the teleportation. We don't need the unbreaking or unusing. And Vorpal randomly performs powerful attacks and decapitations. <laughs> <laughs> that book is, uh, it's off the charts. So let's see if we can put that on here. It costs 179 levels. <laughs> Look at it though. Okay. 179 levels. We can do that. Uh, ha -ha. I don't have any levels left in that. One last little AFK session and we should be kitted out. Oh... My god, while I was AFK, sharpness 10, sharpness 10, uh, axe, we need one of these, and we need a stack of this, it's like it heard, it knew, <laughs> thank you, thank you, with that, I can actually strip the Sharpness 10 enchantment off of this. Wait for it. Mending, I don't care. I'm breaking, I don't care. Sharpness 10. <laughs> Why is that so fancy? Oh my. And if I put that in here, Sharpness 10. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Well, unfortunately, this does mean that uh, when we go to put on... Wait, what happened to my... Oh, no. <laughs> I put the book that had all of the things on it. I put it away. <laughs> oh, I've got to rebuild a book. Uh, I don't know. What about this does it? It may be the fact that it was that fancy uh, enchanted book. But this only costs 10 levels to put it on. And... <sighs> what is that? Overlevel an enchantment with ancient tomes. Ah, so that sharpness 10 must have gone past what was usually possible. So, we have Frost Aspect 5, Frostbite 13, Knockback 4, Leech 8, Life Stealing 6, Looting 7, Magic Siphon 13, Severing 9, Sharpness 10, Sweeping Edge 8, Warple 8, Capturing 7, Scavenger 3, Soul Reaper 6, and Soulbound. Oh yeah. We, uh, we can do a lot of damage. And I'm pretty sure I can nearly click this as fast as I want. Because if we look at this, the attack speed on that is 1.6. The attack speed on that is a little bit higher, but this has an attack speed of nearly eight, nearly eight. It's, it's insane. So we can basically swing flat out and our damage is ridiculous. Now I could also add a shield and we may do that at some point, but for now I'm feeling pretty tanked out. I feel like a beast. 
So I'm very, very happy with this. Boon of the Earth is amazing. We'll get a bunch of different kinds of uh, ores when mining out stuff. That sword is just insanity. Absolute insanity. And this armor is decked. In fact, clicking as fast as I can is the only way that I'll probably be able to keep up with making too much mana output. <laughs> if I'm clicking at a normal speed, it's fine. I have to click incredibly fast. So, I think we've done it. <laughs> I think we've gone ahead and made ourselves an incredible thing. Now, there's probably some things that I missed. I understand that. If you did notice something that I could add or I haven't quite added to any of this gear, let me know and we'll, uh, we'll try and go further beyond. But for now, even though we have a few empty sockets and potentially a few missing bits and pieces, I'm still extremely happy with what we've managed to pull off. And I think we can call it an episode there. We are officially kitted out with some of the strongest gear I've ever seen. And uh, I'm extremely happy with it. I don't think we're going to be worrying about dying anytime soon. And we should be able to take on some of the crazier bosses and stuff in any situation. So with that, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for your continued support. You folks are amazing. And I genuinely appreciate you all. And thank you to everyone who's been watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you like our new gear. Look at us. Look at us. Bit of a different setup than what we've been used to. Eh, nah, I wish that looked good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the series. I'm looking forward to going and exploring some other places and trying out some new mods now that we are pretty much safe from all other things. I am also going to add uh, an unbreaking onto that, like a really high unbreaking, but that's for another time. So, oh, <laughs> thank you to this guy for the fancy bone splitting axe much like what we actually missed out on at the start of the series and thank you all for watching until the next episode i hope you all take care of yourselves and i'll see you then bye bye everyone uh whoop